Hello, my name is Jasmine Hogue, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Copilot to help you catch up and get work done, especially after being out for a week. So today I recently came back from work after being out for an entire week on vacation and I need to catch up. So I'm going to use Copilot to do that. So like all of you, we all start within teams, start our day within teams. And so in this instance, I'm going to go to Copilot and I'm going to put in a prompt that I use frequently. Now this prompt summarizes my mails, teams messages and channel messages from the last working day, as well as putting this information into a nice table format to make it easy for me to read. So I'm going to organize by mail, teams meetings, as well as channel. It'll give me a name of the type of the communication, the topic, a summary, action items, and any follow-ups that I may be responsible for. As you can see, it's starting to create that right here. I love it because it's easy for me to see and easy for me to follow up on. And then if need be, then it can also give me references for its resp respective content. So within this, I may have noticed that I have a meeting that I was not able to participate in. So I'm actually going to do that by going to my chat now. And I'm going to find those meetings. So in this meeting in particular, this was a meeting about AI models and I need to, of course, catch up on it. Now, sometimes I don't know what I don't know for a particular meeting. And so, of course, I'm going to go through the AI notes to kind of get an idea of what's happening here. This is actually with Team Premium. It gives you a nice summary, but I need to know a little more. So I'm going to go into Copilot and I'm going to use a prompt that I use actually all the time, which is especially if I, there's a meeting that I don't know what I don't know about a meeting. So I'll ask it a question like, what questions can I ask of this meeting? This is a really good prompt because sometimes you need to get the juices flowing. Yes, I've read the summary or maybe I didn't read the summary and I just kind of want to jump right in and kind of get a nice kind of update. Of course, I can use the prompts that are already available out of the box, such as recapping the meeting, getting a list of action items, suggesting for, suggesting follow up questions, all those kinds of things I can do. But as you can see, it's already getting started and kind of giving me the types of questions that I can ask of this particular meeting. It'll also give me some information on things that I can't necessarily ask of this meeting. So one of the things that's really jumped out to me was this med prompting. So I'm going to ask, well, what is this med prompting? Give me more details about that. About med prompting. Now notice I didn't necessarily put it in the same way that you see it here, but that's okay. It knows exactly what I'm talking about. What this will do is it'll take a look at the transcript and then it'll try to formulate those um, natural language answers that I can then process more easily. Once more, it's been, a, I've been out and sometimes it takes a lot to just kind of like get me started, get the juices flowing. As you can see, it gives me a nice term, nice definition of what was discussed for met prompting. And so if I want to explore more, I can go further and explore more and ask additional questions. One of the things I noticed is that there's actually a PDF document attached to this meeting. So I'm like, okay, I need to do some further research on this PDF document. Okay, this is good content. But one of the things that I noticed is that this is 21 pages long. That's a lot of pages. That's a lot of content. And I right now don't have the capacity or the bandwidth to actually go through everything. So I need to get a nice summary. So what I would do is download this and then open it up. So I'm going to actually open up this document. Let me make that a little smaller. And open up. So here I have the PDF opened up actually in my browser. I use the basic browser with an edge um, to view by PDFs. And then I'm actually going to ask Copilot. So you can do it two ways. I can either go ask Copilot here, or I can just hit the Copilot button in the upper right hand corner, which is the one I tend to do the most. And now I need to get a summary of this case study. Give me a summary of this PDF. So I'm going to, I'm asking it for a summary of the PDF just so I can get some additional insights on what's actually happening here. Of course, there was a meeting. I've taken some insights from there, but now I want to actually dive a little deeper and go right into the PDF itself. 
as you can see, it gives me a breakdown of the content. It'll start giving me a summary of the content within here. Generalist versus specialist, prompt engineering, met prompts impact, which is very interesting, um, broad applicability. And then now I'm like, okay, I might need to ask some more questions. It also gives me the ability to do multiple parts. Notice it gave me a part one, and now it's gonna generate a part two for me from this content. Now it's making it easier for me to digest, uh, which I think is important. It looks like these are content that's primary, the primary themes, and then I can go a, a little further. Once more, I'm noticing this met prompting business right here. And then there's a nice little reference item here. It'll tell you what, what the reference, where the reference is coming from, where it's, where it's directed. And then as you can see here, it kind of has it highlighted here below. So that allows me to jump to where I need to go within this specific um, content. So I, I, I think I have some a few more questions. There's a few additional references here, um, but maybe I want to ask some deeper, de um, deeper questions. So for example, give me more information on the med prompting strategy. Now notice, um, even if I have things that are potentially um, misspelled, that's okay because Copilot understands what I'm trying to say. It'll know what I'm talking about and I don't have to worry about it as much. So once more, as you can see, I can start getting some additional details based off of the content that's within the document in itself. Um, notice here that it also gives me additional reference material. So I'm going to ask a question about maybe peer reviewed articles because that's what we're talking about here. So what other peer reviewed articles are out there on this topic? So like with any kind of research that you're doing, of course, I want to take, I want to do a deep dive in the content that's provided for me, but I also want to see what else is available out there in the, the space that I can then go and do some additional research. As you can see, it's giving me a layout of additional peer reviewed articles, and then I can make a jump to those um, articles right from within my browser. So I don't have to go too far to do some additional research, which is really powerful. So now I might want to take some of this content and then create my own content from it. So for that, I'm going to actually open up a Word document and Word, a quick tip. If you type in word.new into your browser, it'll automatically open up a new Word document right from the browser. Of course, if you want to open up the, from the browser to the desktop version, you can do that from right within your um, space, right within the browser. You go to edit and then you can go to open and, and you can go to open an app and desktop app. But for now, I'm going to stay in the browser version. I like the browser version. Uh, and as you can see, um, the same thing goes if you want to create a new PowerPoint deck or even a new Excel sheet. You can just do type in ppt.new or excel.new and it'll automatically open up in the browser. So now I'm going to create my own case study or business case to um, do more evaluation around prompting and med prompting. And I'm gonna leverage content that I found in different places to do so. So in this instance, I'm gonna say create a, a um, organizational study on med prompting and the power of prompting. I think that's interesting. Power of prompting using the following document. Now I'm going to go um, and search for the document that I already have in, in, in place to um, lend itself to, uh, to this project. I'm gonna type it in because I misspelled it. So I was going to do a search for a content. Yes, I'm going to use this. And then you can have up to three different documents that you can leverage as a reference for your content. And yeah. I'm going to hit generate and I'm going to let it do its thing. So. And we're back. As you can see, it has created a nice um, summary of the content based off of the reference material. 
and I'm going to actually just take it as it is or I can change it if you say keep it'll keep the content or if you want to rewrite it you can another great option is maybe you don't like for example this in its itself is a bulleted list maybe I want to change it if I want to maybe visualize this as a table I can visualize it as a table I can rewrite it or I can visualize it as a list if it was maybe in a in a paragraph format and I want to just make some changes so for now I'm going to keep it notice it also saves it renames it based off of the title and I can make some other necessary changes I can also jump into different spaces like say right here I want to add some additional content I'll go and add additional content um, leveraging copilot so it's really handy and then expanding on the content that you already have in the build upon it once more trust but verify always just go through and just review the content as need be also maybe at tweaking it here and there changing the sound and the tone of it additionally one of the great things that you can do within copilot is for example i'm gonna go to my copilot button up here so let's say for example i this was shared with me um this document was shared with me i didn't create it i can still summarize the document i can also ask questions of the document similar to like a pdf but right from within word i've created my my actual summary i need to present these findings to my peers or to my leadership or to other stakeholders so for that i'm going to go into powerpoint so once more similar to where i'm going to do ppt.new it will create a new PowerPoint document for me right within the browser. So here I'm going to actually go to Copilot again because what I want to do now is I want to create a PowerPoint presentation that I base off of the, my findings and then share that with my team. Now notice that this is not taking us very long at all to do any of this content. Uh, and if you really already know what you're doing, then it can be even faster. This is I'm just going through it. I'm going to grab this document. This is the one that we just created. I say create a presentation from this. So you can create a presentation maybe from scratch. You can create a presentation from the file or you can add slides, all those kinds of things to just update your documentation or to create your documentation um, based off of how you see fit. So we're going to let us do it, let it do its thing and we'll be right back. So one of the things you'll notice is that it will give a nice outline of what it's going to create in your presentation before it actually creates it. This is going to be a pretty extensive, it was an extensive document, so it's going to be an extensive presentation. It'll also give you a nice little rundown of where it's at in the um, slide generation process. So you can kind of keep an eye on that, okay, have a few more seconds or maybe a minute. It won't take too long for it to generate it. And once it's generated, the great thing about this is that you can then make adjustments as you see fit. Okay, so it's created this slide deck. And as you notice, it's a little basic for me. So I want to start making some changes to this particular, to these particular slides. So for example, what I would then do is go to designer I'll select the slide, go to designer, and then start making some of the changes. Ooh, I like it, I kinda like that. Look at feel. Awesome. And as you can see, I've just definitely changed it up. Now, of course, there's other things I might wanna change, you know, for my page, or maybe I wanna add some additional pages. So if I wanted to, let's say, for example, actually, I like this agenda. Let's say, for example, I wanted to add additional pages, I could just go into my Copilot, close my designer go into Copilot and I can ask it to add additional slides. So maybe for example, um, add slides on, slides on additional prompting techniques. So I'll let it add the slide. Additionally, you can use some of the out of the box prompts such as organize this presentation, summarize this presentation. So for example, if someone shared this presentation with me, 
ahead of time and I was like, oh, now I need to review this 25 page presentation. I'm not quite sure what it's about. I can just get a presentation summary and get it and get an idea of what's happening here. As you can see though, it added that slide for me and then I'm off to the races, doing my presentation and calling it a day. So that's it for now. So today we reviewed how we could catch up on our documents or our, or our emails and our communications through Teams, how we can take a PDF that we that was shared with us through a team meeting, do a team meeting review, share, take that PDF, and then do a summary of that PDF, build our own content from that, and then we can pre create a presentation that we can then share with our peers and those within our organization as well as other stakeholders. So that's it for today, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.